The dynamic core stance is an amazing exercise for the core and stabilization of the body. Come onto all fours with your hands beneath your shoulders and your knees directly beneath your hips. Nice and flat back. Now if your arms are too long, simply bend your elbows and tuck them into your sides, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. As you can see here, Fleur's arms straight are the perfect height to keep that nice flat tabletop. Using a dowel rod, we simply lay the dowel rod on the back. These are really important to help you with your cues and it's a nice amount of weight without being heavy or too light that it falls off all the time. We want it to touch the back of the head, so we want to be pushing the chin back, not lifting the back of the head so it touches our top of our head. We want it to touch in the thoracic, in between the shoulder blades here, and then again on the posterior side, the back side of the pelvis, keeping this nice natural arch in the body. This is going to be the hardest part of this exercise for you, especially if you tighten the glutes. You'll see here that Fleur has a bit of tension in her glutes and it really restricts on how far you can go through the exercise. From here, extending your left leg and your right arm at the same time, keeping your thumb pointed up and your arm out to 45 degrees. We want to keep it the whole time, so lifting that leg, keeping those three points of contact, keeping this arch in our back, we want to bring our knee as close to our elbow without losing form. So if Fleur goes all the way here, you'll see the back start to round and we will lose this. So she brings her elbow all the way to her knee, you'll see this lift up here. We don't want this happening. So only go to the point to here where we can keep this natural lumbar curve and then extend back out again. Okay, make sure we keep these three points of contact all the time. Continue through, elbow to knee, keeping that curve there the whole time. You're really going to have to work the core and then extending back out again. Make sure you switch onto the alternative side. If you need help with the exercise, try stretching through the glutes with a piriformis stretch. Good luck.